strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man, thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no, N no names. Band players' signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. It's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Oh, oh, sorry, David. Look, it's cool you're trying to cheer me up. Really. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Garcia's hot streak is cooling. On purpose. I think I got a few more swings in me. You in? Ah, oh, David. David, what's wrong? Come back. I'm sorry, man. I was trying to keep it together. I'm not good at talking like this. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. I'm not gonna stand in your way. Well, all right then. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, she should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? 
Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I killed Lonnie. Christ, how could he turn on me like that? David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? Yeah, you talked me out of it. And you fought to keep your family. You can do it again, now. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive, no matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've gotta figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. We can beat this. Together. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. You've got the guns. You set the terms. I'm glad you're willing to work with me. And people had concerns about me coming here. After the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. I think everyone in this town is dangerous. They are when they're scared and hungry. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David. You remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something, something good, and you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us.
Screw this. Gotta get out of here. That doesn't look very sturdy. Huh. That pipe looks loose. time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. going to get up there from this bench. Ugh, nothing useful here. Ugh, locked. I'm not getting out through here. That's not gonna work. No time to rest. Could squeeze through there. I've been looking everywhere for you. Gabe? Where'd they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. <laughs> 